Good morning, you guys. We finally got going after a few hours on the train and then the little scenic bus ride uh, and a few times checking the map until we were sure we're on the right path. We finally really started going. Uh, today, we don't have that much distance to do, but a little over 700 meters of elevation, so it's still gonna be quite a challenge. But I'm super happy and super excited. It's just so, so beautiful up here. Let's go. As it turns out, the elevation wasn't as big of a problem as we thought, and we managed the whole stretch in about two hours, arriving at the top at 12.30. What we didn't know was that the earliest possible check-in for this hut is 4 p.m., which means no showers before that. So we sat around in our sweaty hiking clothes, and I killed some time taking pictures in the area before we could settle in. Good morning guys, it's almost 8.30 now. We just left the cabin. Uh, I got the camera in the backpack for now because it's incredibly foggy. We had some rain last night. Uh, currently it's still dry. It might rain later. Uh, since we only have one and a half hours today on the original route, we're gonna leave that for a bit and go see one of the summits and hopefully the fog will clear out so we can actually enjoy the view. The camera didn't even stay in the backpack for 10 minutes, because the fog wasn't as bad as it looked from the hut and actually made for some really nice shots. The peak we hiked to was called Hanenkampel, and at 2,080 meters, one of 125 peaks over 2,000 meters in the Kavendel Mountains. We spent some time up there before we hiked back down to our next destination, the Binsalm, which is a private hut that doesn't belong to the German Alps Association, so we didn't have to wait for the check-in, which allowed us to enjoy the rain that started in the evening dry and freshly showered.
little midday update. We already did about two thirds of what we're aiming for today. We've been hiking for about two hours. We went down into the valley and now we're on our way back up. There's a lot more people on the trail today, but the weather is absolutely stunning. Just take a look at that. Our third stop would later turn out to be the most beautiful on the trip. The hut was newly renovated and just extremely nice and cozy. To save some money, we became members of the German Alps Association that I mentioned earlier. That allows us to eat the mountaineer supper, which is a set meal for the members, usually soup, that can't cost more than 9 euros. On top of that, you get free hot water for tea if you bring your own tea bags and a pretty decent discount on the beds. Day 4 was a nice, even hike. 400 meters downhill and then 500 meters back up over about 8.6 kilometers. We got to the hut, which had a kind of retro charm, ate lunch, took a shower and put our stuff away. And then later went back down into the guest room for supper. This was also the first night where we actually had somebody right next to us in the bunk beds. The forecast already promised rain for the entire next day, so we weren't all that excited to get back up in the morning. Good morning. It's a little after 7.30 in the morning. We just left the hut. Today we have 17 kilometers, estimated at about five and a half hours, which is the longest day on the hike uh, and also our last day. It's raining lightly and the forecast says it's gonna be like this the entire day. Let's just hope our gear holds its promise. The gear wasn't a problem, because the rain stopped about 45 minutes after we left the hut and it stayed dry pretty much exactly until we reached the car. The last day was very tiring, because we only walked on boring gravel roads and that for over 17 kilometers, before we reached Scharnitz, our final destination. If you enjoyed following us along on this trip, I would appreciate it if you left a like or a comment and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you like my photography, make sure to drop by my Instagram, I'll leave a link to that in the video description. I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, have a great rest of your day.